Really good to have you with us. It's time for the World Taekwondo Recap Show. It's weekend number two, of course. In weekend number one, we had Bianca Walton of Great Britain and Maxine Framtov of Russia claiming the big prize. Who's going to do it this week? Well, we get to find out. Let's have a look at the draw sheets and indeed the top seeds. Well, let's have a little look at the draw sheets here. Of course, the men's under 68 kilogram grouping. World and Olympic champions everywhere you look. Lee Dae-hoon of Korea, one of the favourites. Along with Alexei Denisenko of Russia. Jawood Ashab, the Olympic high ranking. Likewise, host nations Zhao Shui, the men's 68, one to watch. And in the women's draw sheet, of course, in the under 67 kilogram grouping. Top class fighters everywhere. World and Olympic champion Oh Hye of Korea. Gual Yun Fei of China will have plenty to say about it. Ruth Bagby of the Ivory Coast, one of the favourites coming into this one. Likewise, world champion from Turkey, Nur Tartar. And this one promises to be a classic. So now that we know who's in the draw sheets, let's have a look at some of the highlights. Well, here we go with the highlights. It's time for the very best of the round of 16. Top fighters and they are ready to go. Great Britain's Lauren Williams, the Grand Prix champion from London, is Galpan, Chinese home favourite. Straight away, headshot attempt, good body kick from the Chinese fighter. Power punch from Williams. Tough old fight here. Headshot there from Gao Pan. Kim Jandi of Korea. She's going against Yu Zhaoui of China. Jandi with the headshot to start. Good response from Yu Zhaoui. Both of them trading body kicks there. Good body shot. Big headshot from Zhaoui as well. Temujin Perevjav of Mongolia against Boris Kaznov of Russia. Straight away with the chop kick. The Mongolian responding. Big windmill over the shoulder there. Temujin Perevjav with the windmill. Mexico's Dal Guterres up against Wang Jingyu, the Chinese home nation fighter. Jingyu straight over the shoulder with the chop kick. Good punch from Guterres. A real battle back and forward here. Hook round the corner from Guterres. Korea's Kim Sok Bae against Iran's Abdul Fazl Yagpur Jubari. Headshot from the Korean. Good response. And that wraps up the action for the round of 16. Well, some great highlights here from the last 16. A notable mention for Lauren Williams. Top class fight for her. Big win on her way through. And let's have a little listen to what she had to say after the fight. Let's have a listen to the athletes as we go to our walking mic. Amazing, like, this is one step above the competition I've ever been to. Uh, it's an amazing atmosphere, it's put together really well. I'm just honoured to be here and I'm just really happy that I'm at this event. The fight itself, it was just a whole adrenaline buzz at the start and um, I went out, I, I wasn't really concentrating too much, I got my tactics a bit wrong, but I think next time I really need to nail down my tactics, get it sorted, have a clear plan going in and then try and execute in the ring. But personally I felt really tired, so... I think next time I need to put my head in better space and, you know, try and better that performance. Great to hear the thoughts of Great Britain's Lauren Williams there, but let's go from thinking to fighting and see the best of the quarterfinals. Well, here we go with the highlights. It's time for the quarterfinal action. Eyes down, look in. Let's enjoy the fights. Great Britain's Lauren Williams going up against Guang Yunfei of China. Good start from Guang Yunfei. Body shot scores. As does the head kick, Williams trying to respond, blocks well. Big punch from Williams, fighting her way back in, hook kick round the corner from the Welsh wonder, trying to fight her way back into this great headshot from Gual Yunfei. Olympic champion Oh Hye Ri on her way into this one against teammate and now rival Kim Jandi. Big body shot from Oh Hye Ri, front leg to the face, followed by the chop, headshot to finish. World champion Ruth Bagby from Cote d'Ivoire. So, so young, the Korean trying to make it through. Big headshot from Bagby to start. Another chop kick from Ruth Bagby. Lands clean. World champion from Turkey, Nur Tartar. Against Chinese home favourite, Zhang Mongyu. Push kick from Zhang Mongyu. Response from Tartar. Headshot from Zhang Mongyu. World champion Lee Dae-hoon of Korea against Boris Krasnov, the big Russian. Chop kicks from Lee Dae-hoon and another on the way through. Headshot from Krasnov, good response from Lee Dae-hoon. Big one to finish. Russia's Alexei Denisenko against Wang Jingyu of China. Denisenko with the headshot and the back kick. Good double from Denisenko. Big headshot from the Chinese fighter, counter double. And that brings to a close the quarter-final action. Well, amazing quarter-final action there, none more so than Ruth Bagby.
doing what champions do, making it through. Tough fight, but she's into the mix for the semi-finals. Likewise, Guo Yunfei, the host and the home favourite, defeating Great Britain's Lauren Williams. So good times for Team China. Likewise for Zhao Shui, the Olympic champion, he's edging ever closer to a battle with Lee Dae-hoon of Korea. So with that, let's have a look at the draw sheets to see how things are shaping up. And shaping up nicely, they are. The top class fighters are gathered, fighting it out for the spot in the semi-finals. It's time for the real business end of the competition. Boris Kaznov early in the day with that win against Mongolia's Temujin Perevjav. Yi Hun was waiting. We know what happened there. Sal Guterres against Wang Jingyu. Big win for China. Defeated by Denisenko. And it's Korea against Russia in the semis. On the other side of the draw, Mirashem Hassani, the qualifier from Iran. Well, he beat Azerbaijan and Belgium. He's into the semis. Making up the other side of the semi-final, Zhao Shuai, the Olympic champion. Big win over Korea. And he waits to fight Iran. The women's under-67 draw is shaping up like this. The favourite Ohiri goes against fellow teammate. She made it into the semi-finals. Lauren Williams win against Gao Pan. Well, she was defeated by Guo Yan Fei. So it's Korea against China in the semis. On the other side of the draw, the Ivory Coast world champion Ruth Bagley awaited so so young of Korea and it was so so good for Ruth. She's into the semis. No Tartar against Zhang Meng Yu. Big win for China. And a big semi final awaits. So now that we know who's qualified, let's have a listen to the athletes as we go to our walking mic. Vraiment, c'est une grande fierté pour moi. C'est une grande joie d'être ici, d'être parmi les meilleurs. Et vraiment, je peux dire. The uh, 4 is beau. Vraiment, c'est beau le tapis et vraiment tout le matériel qu'il y a autour, c'est vraiment énorme, c'est magnifique. Et j'aime bien parce que c'est fun, c'est cool, on s'amuse et voilà. On prend, on prend du plaisir. Le combat, uh, il peut être un peu difficile. Et je suis rentré difficilement. Uh, je n'étais pas arrivé. Vers la fin, j'étais mené, je suis allé chercher les points et voilà. Je sors victorieux de ce combat. え、あの、カップ、あの、デミフィナル。よく、じゃ、金山が見かれ、こう、と、よく、まあ、あの、オンロネ、じゃ、ラガメンソシャブティンゲ、非常に、テコンドロスの、超、の、ベイギー、と、
Well, you couldn't ask for much more in terms of semi-final action. Ide Hoon and Alexei Denisenko serving up a classic. Couldn't be separated until the very last seconds. The Korean into the final where he will go against Zhao Shuai, the Chinese Olympic champion. So a real classic to look forward to in that one. Ruth Bagby of Cote d'Ivoire looking in imperious form. She goes against Guo Yunfei, Grand Prix champion from Abidjan. So will it be repeat or will it be revenge? There's only one way to find out. Well, it's time for the highlights of the finals. The top two fighters battling it out for the $70,000 prize. Action is ready to go. Guo Yunfei against the Ivory Coast, Ruth Bagby. The big rivals meeting once more. Who's it going to be this time? Grand Slam final. Big back leg from Ruth Bagby. Guo Yunfei tries with a headshot and lands one this time. The Chinese fighter really going for it. Bagby spinning double there from the Ivorian. Headshot from Guo Yunfei. What a battle this one is. On the back foot, Bagby with the double. At the double is Guo Yunfei, but the champion, the Ruth is on fire. The world champion becomes Grand Slam champion. Yi Dehun of Korea against Zhao Shui of China. Yi Dehun with the back leg turning kick. Good start from the Korean. Big swing and a miss there from Zhao Shui. Body shot again. Headshot lands this time for the Chinese fighter. And another one landing over the shoulder. Yi Dehun having to battle. Goes with a headshot of his own, lands it nicely. Back leg look away. And it looks good for Yi Dehun. Zhao Shui missing. Yi Dehun walks into a back kick. Massive win for Ide Hoon, the Grand Slam champion. Fantastic finals bring the event to a close. Fantastic highlights there, and let's have a look at the results. Guo Yunfei of China against Ruth Bagby of Cote d'Ivoire. And it was the Ivorian that emerges as the Grand Slam champion, 10 to 6. Ide Hoon of Korea against Zhao Shui of China. And it was a massive win, 53-14. Basketball scores in the end, and a slam dunk from the Korean. Grand Slam champion. Well, the results are in, and let's hear what the winning athletes have got to say. Le Grand Slam, euh, c'est une compétition vraiment qui, qui me marque, qui m'a beaucoup marqué. Très bien organisée, cool et fun. Vraiment, euh, voilà, profitez bien et je suis fier d'être ici. Je suis fier aussi de mon résultat. Bisous. Tremendous finals there, I'm sure you will agree. It was a great spectacle. Bianca Walden and Maxine Ramsov, well, they are now joined by Ruth Bagby and Ide Hoon, the top prize money earners here in the Grand Slam series. Big prizes, big fights, and lots to look forward to in Grand Slam series number three. From all of us here in the recap show, it's goodbye for now, and see you next week.